Inventory Manager for Instrumentation Controls. I'd like to go over a few of the, the key features of the MSA Ultima X 5000 unit that we have right here. Um, it is uh, an LED display, it is touch, it's a touch interface, and uh, it does have Bluetooth technology and it is programmable via Bluetooth through the Connect app and we'll go through that uh, as we go here. So this is Woody Green with, uh, he's our service technology, yeah, service tech with uh, instrumentation controls and I'll let him go through a couple of the features uh, as we go. So good afternoon, uh, like Mark said, we're gonna go through some of the features. Uh, we're also gonna do a full calibration on this sensor. This is a propane sensor, a digital propane sensor. You also have an option to add on, on this transmitter, you can do up to two sensors, um, which you can add an IR sensor or another digital sensor. So it's got some unique features there. Okay, so going through the push buttons on the transmitter, um, before we get started, um, you wanna be prepared and ready to go. So you wanna have your bottle of zero gas and your bottle of span gas. We're using oxygen 20.8% and propane uh, 0.6 or 25% LEL. Um, you wanna make sure you have the correct regulators as well as a hose. Um, to get the gas to the sensor. Um, depending on what type of gas and what kind of setup you have, you may need an on-demand regulator or something that doesn't quite put out the same amount of flow. We're using 1.5 liters per minute, which is fine for our propane sensor. So what I like to do is get myself set up. I like to put the hose on the sensor part first, get my oxygen bottle uh, set up and ready to go. So once the process starts, um, I can just turn on the regulator. So through the push buttons, um, you have a, an arrow that's going down, that's gonna be to scroll through your menus. And then the, the one on the right side that has the arrow pointing to the right, that's gonna be basically your inner button. Um, these are light sensors, so sometimes they wanna work with you, sometimes they don't, you just have to go kind of swing over them. That's the status, menu, calibration, settings, and then back home. So we're gonna go into the calibration menu. We're gonna hit the enter button. We have two options, which is calibrate, which is a full calibration, which will include zero and span. It's an automated system. It's gonna tell you, uh, walk you through the process, tell you to put your zero gas on. Um, and once that um, process has been completed, it'll tell you to remove your gas and put your span gas on. You can also do just a zero calibration. Um, if your zero is just drifted, which in a lot of cases, that's what's happened. Um, if you're reading, um, have a reading and you know your air is clean, um, you can just do zero. So it's timed out on us, but we're gonna go back in here to the calibration menu and we'll start that. Enter, and we're gonna do calibrate, which is a full calibration. It's letting us pick the sensor. We only have one sensor on this one, so it, it's uh, just gonna be that one sensor that we start. And listening calibration, so um, it says apply zero gas, you can see that. So I already have my zero gas on the regulator. I'm just gonna turn it on. And you get this countdown here, and what it's doing is basically uh, seeing the gas that you're putting to it. In this case, it's the oxygen. Once it gets a stable reading, um, we'll get a, a message that says uh, zero uh, span uh, successful, and then it's gonna ask us to uh, remove the zero gas and apply a span gas. And you'll see that coming up here shortly. So sometimes it takes a while. Um, if that bar graph goes all the way down, um, and it does not span, you'll get a fault. Uh, typically that's not uh, an issue unless your sensor is old and going out. Um, usually C it won't go through the whole, uh, it won't go through the whole count down there. You may get halfway or so and they'll say successful zero, uh, remove gas. So just kind of bear with us here. This part could take a while. You see we have a zero cal pass. Like I was saying, it wouldn't go all the way down through the countdown. And now we get the message apply span gas. So in this case, we're just going to turn off our oxygen. So we're not wasting that. We're gonna switch our hose over to our span gas, which is, like I said earlier, a 0.6 or 25% LEL. We're then gonna turn this on. You'll start to see the numbers climb here. <clears throat> and then what you're looking for is, uh, it should be fairly close to uh, your known gas, this is 25%, so we should get pretty close to 25%. It could be a little over, a little under. Uh, once it finishes its calibration, it's going to change. Whatever it sees, it's gonna tell it what, what we told it the span gas is, and in this case, it's 
when you're uh, calibrating, um, this is a propane, zero to 50% uh, LEL. So as long as you have a gas that falls in that range, you can go into the settings and tell it what your span gas is and use that span gas. Um, it has to fall within the range of the sensor though. So you don't have to necessarily use a certain uh, percentage of gas as long as it falls within that range and you go into the settings and change that, you can calibrate it with that gas as long as it's the correct gas. Um, but different percentages or, str or strengths, if you will, can be adjusted in the settings to, to, to set that up. So you can see it's at 29. Once it gets to a, a stable measurement and it holds that measurement for 15 seconds or so, uh, you'll see a message that says uh, span successful and to remove the gas and then it will store that data. It'll also tell you what it was found at and what it left it at. So it should say, if it stays at 29, it would say found at 29, left at 25. And you can also go back in and look at the previous uh, calibration. So you can see the remove gas signal. I'm gonna take our gas off. And if you continue to watch the screen there, it will show you what it was found at and what it left it at. This sometimes takes a few seconds. It's basically finalizing the calibration. Um, once that goes away, you'll see as found 29, as left 25. Or is this, in this case, as left 29. So this one has been set for a span of 29. Even though we're giving it 25% gas, we told it was 29. So that's in, in that in that situation you may have be using a propane sensor, but you're looking for a different type of gas. So that's why it's actually setting it at 29. That was a 25% gas. But if I was to go into the settings and say 25, and I'm setting it 25, it's going to call it that. So you can use LEL sensors to to detect different types of LEL um, gases that are out there. So um, those are in your your manuals. You can look to see. Uh, what sensor can work for what types of gas But basically this is a propane gas that you can see it's still seeing a little bit of gas as that clears away It'll eventually go down to zero and that's pretty much uh, a calibration process through the uh, transmitter and the push button um, Menu function um, pretty easy to do there as you can see um, We also will be going through the same process with the Bluetooth app as well Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Um, that was just basically a couple quick key features on the MSA X5000 unit and a full calibration as you guys saw is very easy, um, very straightforward. If you guys have any questions uh, at any time or any application, feel free to reach out and give us a call. Thank you. Have a great day.